I do this to myself? Why do I go watch James Wan's movies? Ugh. What's up, YouTubers? So, I saw a 10 o'clock showing, an early screening of James Wan's Insidious Chapter 2. And, uh, yeah, same thing from The Conjuring. I'm not going to sleep tonight. Uh, I'm fucking terrified right now. I'm scared to, like, look in my medicine cabinet mirror in my bathroom. I'm uh, scared to turn on the radio and have tiptoe through the tulips come on the radio while I'm trying to sleep. Oh. I think what I'm trying to say, guys, was Insidious Chapter 2 was fucking awesome. Um, was it better than Insidious 1? I don't think it was better, but I think it was just as every bit as good as Insidious Part 1. Chapter 1. Um, this film, guys, it's really... It explains so much from uh, the first one. Like, the events that happened to, and, like, things surrounding, like, uh, you know, their house, and these, uh, you know, spiritual beings, these entities that they see, and it also opens a Pandora's box, like, whole new questions, especially the end, and you guys definitely have to watch the end till the very end. Um, yeah, guys, this movie was just amazing, uh... I don't know how James Wan managed to shoot, uh, managed to, to poop out two awesome, awesome horror films in the same year. Uh, I mean, he also directed this one, as well as the first Insidious in The Conjuring, and it's just, man, his movies are just so effective and so. This guy, he just he knows how to make good horror films, man. I wish there were more James Wans in the world because, there, I have seen so many, so many horror films that try to do that try to emulate. Paranormal Activity, Insidious, uh, you know, uh, any of these home invasion movies like The Strangers, and they just fail. They fail because they, they fail to, to recognize what it is that makes these movies so effective and so scary. And um, basically, uh, the plot to Insidious Chapter 2, guys, is it continues right where Insidious 1 left off. And uh, if you guys have not seen Insidious 1, I'm going to spoil it for you because I kind of have to in order to tell you guys what the plot of Insidious Chapter 2 is. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and say this is kind of a spoiler-filled part from Insidious, uh, from the first Insidious. Uh, at the end of uh, Insidious, Patrick Wilson's character, Josh, goes into the further to get Dalton brings him back, but unfortunately brings something else back with him. Um, of course, the uh, spiritual uh, guide, uh, forgive me, I, f I forget the character's name, I forget the, the older woman's name that helps Josh you know, reconnect with his son in the first one. She's in Chapter 2 as well. He ends up killing her because the old lady from, Insidi from Insidious 1 has, t has now taken over Josh but uh, the family does not know this uh, in Chapter 2. And uh, you kind of get a little bit of a, you know, a recap from the first film. And you also get, at the beginning of the film, a flashback to Josh's you know, childhood that was uh, really interesting. And uh, they, they managed to find like an actress, a younger version of the psychic lady from Insidious 1 that like I swear to god the actress I know like she lipped like her voice like she had to have like dubbed over her voice to make it sound like her but the actress like looks just like a younger version of this of the older lady and uh it was crazy I don't know how they did that but um yeah so while the family is trying to move on and put this part of their life behind them they go to stay at uh, Barbara Hershey's character's Josh's mother's uh house and, uh, you know, because the police are trying to investigate what happened with, uh, you know, uh, this murder, this, the psychic that was murdered at the hands of Josh. Um, and 
while this is going on, uh, Tucker and Max, uh, the two hilarious, you know, bumbling buffoons that assisted, uh, um, you know, the psychic lady, um, are trying to uncover the mystery behind, uh, Josh's, um, you know, woman that follows her around. And it's almost like, it's almost, it's, it's interesting because this movie is, it's more of like a mystery. I mean, it's scary. It is fucking scary, but it's really interesting because they peel back layers and you find out like new things and, and old questions are answered while they're doing this investigation. But at the same time, back at Josh's mom's house, uh, Rose Byrne's character and the kids are seeing all these creepy, uh, you know, these creepy, uh, beings and ghosts. And, uh, the film just, it, it, it's, it starts and it never lets up. It, it is just consistently scary from beginning to end. Consistently scary. Um, and, uh, I think Patrick Wilson, uh, his, he, he does a great performance because he's almost playing, he's basically playing two people in this film. Like this dual, like Jekyll and Hyde, uh, kind of, you know, personality, and Rose Byrne, I think, gives a really, really great performance. Has this, you know, this terrified wife and mother. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, Insidious Chapter Two, guys, it, it was it was fucking awesome. Uh, I loved it. I would definitely, definitely recommend this. If you loved Insidious One, you will love the sequel. Um, I mean, like I said, it's not better. There are some kind of goofy parts. Um, in, in chapter two that kind of took me out of it, like some lines of dialogue and some scenarios that were kind of silly, but, uh, it is definitely just as equal. Uh, it's, it's equal to the first, um, chapter two is, um, so yeah, guys, that is my review of insidious chapter two. Uh, I hope you guys, uh, you know, stick with me. Um, you know, through these reviews, uh, I know they're kind of random when I put them up. I don't really announce like the, you know, um, times or dates of when I'm going to release new videos. I just kind of, I see a movie, whether it be on theaters, on TV, DVD, Blu-ray, and I'm just like, man, I want to do a review. Like that was a really interesting film. I have a lot of things to say about this, but, um, yeah, guys, let me know what you thought of Insidious Chapter 2. If you have not seen it, go see the first one, rent, buy, Borrow the first one from a friend. If you catch it on TV, HBO, whatever, watch it and uh, go see uh, Chapter 2. Uh, also, I don't know, my city was doing it here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Some theaters are doing a uh, two-for-one showing where it's a double feature. You can actually see Insidious and Insidious Chapter 2 back-to-back. Uh, -back. And uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good deal because you're getting two movies for the price of one. And uh, me and my friend... Uh, we almost did that, but uh, we had both already seen Insidious 1 several times, so we we already knew what we were expecting, so we just decided to go ahead and uh, see the first one. Or the second one, excuse me. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, hit me back with your thoughts, your comments, and if you like what you, uh, if you, like what you see here, you can subscribe. And uh, you guys have a good night, and uh, wish me sweet dreams, because I'm not going to have any. Later.